Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. Today, we're going to turn my Apple IIe into a Twitter client. So let's get started. All right, so my goal is to set up my Apple IIe as a Twitter client. And people have done things like this in the past, but they've essentially only used the IIe as just a dumb monitor. So what I want to do is try and push the Apple IIe as far as possible. Here is the Ethernet 2 card developed by Glenn Jones and documented by David Finnegan. This card has a W5100 Ethernet chip on it, which has a full TCP IP stack. It's got a 16K internal buffer. It also has auto increment, so when you read data, it automatically goes to the next byte to be read. And finally, it has auto wraparound, so you don't have to worry about the buffer filling up. So to take advantage of this, we started with David Finnegan's sample code, and then I extended it to be able to handle things like images from the Twitter feed. So this code basically acts as a TCP client with the additional property that it looks for special mode bits to tell it whether it should switch to high-res graphics or stay in text mode. This is based on David Finnegan's sample code in the Ethernet 2 manual. Uh, but if we scroll down to past all of the initialization where we set up the socket for, to the network, then we get to a tight loop where we'll just wait for data to come in, put the data either onto the screen as a text output or we blit it straight into the high-res graphics page at address 2000. So if we just scroll down to that, here's the code that looks for our mode. If we see mode equal one, then we switch to high-res graphics. Otherwise, we change it back to print. And then for the copy, here we just have a tight loop where we're reading the data directly from the W5100 and we store it directly into memory and then we just increment. So there's still a couple places where we'll need to have a external computer do some of the work for us. And one of these is the Twitter API. So a couple of years ago, Twitter changed the API so that it needs to use secure communications to actually hook up and use the API. The other case is handling images. And in this case, some of the images are just larger than the Apple IIe memory or even what could be stored on a floppy disk. So I wrote a Python script, which I'm going to run over on my Mac. And you can see that right here. And in the Python script, it has two functions. The first is to simply set up a TCP server. And that's down here at the bottom. And this is where we'll actually set up a server and we'll listen for inputs on port 20,000. And then the second part is to actually stream the Twitter um, images and tweets. And for this, I'm using the Twython package. And I've just set up a simple streamer where the tweets come in and then it sends them out either as text or as an image. And it just sends them out on port 20,000 and the Apple IIe just listens for that. So to handle the image conversion, I'm using Bill Buckle's BMP to DHR, which is an awesome command line utility that lets you convert any bitmap image into either a low res, high res, or double high res Apple II image. You can see here, right here in the middle, this is where I'm actually checking to see if there's an image. If I find one, I call the uh, convert routine to convert it to a BMP that's 280 by 192 pixels, which is the screen size for the Apple II. Then I call the B2D command line utility, convert it to a high res graphics image, and then I send it over the wire. And this is where I'm sending my mode bit here. One indicates that an image is coming, I send the data, and then a zero indicates that the image is received. And so this lets the assembly language code on the 6502 know to switch to high-res graphics. So let's see it in action. Let's go ahead and start the TCP server over on the Mac, and then we'll fire up the Twitter client on the Apple IIe. And the only things we need to configure are the local server and then the Apple IIe IP address. And to do that, I just wrote a very simple basic program 
which just loads the assembly language code and then just configures the address. So the Apple IIe that I know is 10.0.1.252 because I hard coded it. And then my Mac is 10.0.1.17. And so as soon as I do this, it should go ahead and connect up to the Mac. And so you can see now it's actually starting to tweet out both pictures as well as text tweets. And so now it's switched back to text because there's some text tweets. And you can actually see by how fast it loads that it's actually really fast to actually uh, pass the eight kilobytes of an image across the wire. The final step is to make my Apple IIe Twitter client be wireless. And to do this, we're gonna take advantage of the Apple II Pi card developed by David Schmenk. And we're gonna pair that up with a Raspberry Pi 3, which has wireless built into it. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug in the ethernet to the Raspberry Pi. And when we put that into the computer, the Raspberry Pi will be receiving the tweets from the internet and then it'll be using the same Twitter server program to send those on to the Ethernet 2 card. And what I'm gonna do is I now have to actually uh, log in remotely to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with my Mac. So we'll just log in to the Pi. Let's go ahead and get the script started over on the Raspberry Pi. So Python Twitter server.py and that's now listening on port 20,000 for connections. So my Apple II address is now 10.0.2.2 and the Raspberry Pi is 10.0.2.1. So it looks like it's configured and there come my tweets. Sure enough. So this is nice because now it's actually my Apple IIe is wirelessly connected to the internet because it's using the wireless on the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is writing out the tweets onto port 20,000 and then the Ethernet is receiving those. So even though I'm still having the Raspberry Pi do a lot of the heavy lifting, uh, this is a little bit more of a, a real demonstration of what the Ethernet 2 card can do. And again, you can see the images come in really fast. The program to read the bytes off of the W5100, it's about 123,000 clock cycles, which is about 0.12 seconds to read uh, 8,000 bytes for an HDR image. Let me change my Python script to, instead of looking for cat tweets, I'll just look for tweets that I'm subscribed to. Can, I don't have to rerun the basic program because I've already uh, burned in my IP address into the program, so I can just do 8000G. And now it's listening for any tweets uh, to my channel. Hello, Apple IIe, how are you? Okay, there it is. And let's go ahead and we'll send a photo. Okay, so there the photo came across. And again, it was fast. Next things I wanna do is maybe switch to using double high res since I have an Apple IIe with 128K uh, just to make the images look a little bit better. And if you have any feedback about this, please leave some comments. I'm always looking for more people to support me on Patreon, so if you'd like to see your name in the credits, uh, please visit my Patreon as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching.